but <laughs> just actually vertical in position. Good job. Yeah, I like that. Then there's a separate, a clear separation of your aids between the walk and the hall, and the hall and the walk. Next time you halt at E in the hall, I want you to do a little pole flexion to the right, and then come back to a little pole flexion left, and then walk on. Fine, don't bend the neck, just pole flex. And then pole flexion left. You didn't get pole flexion left. Right. So, oh. yeah, and then walk on. <coughs> and again, now you're going to do this at every end. Flex right, straighten, flex left, and then walk on. So he does have the propensity when he <coughs> flex, he wants to like go down and stretch, right? <coughs> and, and go, uh. If you, Karen, can you rain back? This, this would be a good exercise for him here. Hall, all right. Now rain back. Whoops. Yep. Three, and then walk out of it. Okay. Every, every other letter, you can do a rain back now. On the other, on the odd of the first letter, just do the flexion exercise. Yep, little flexion, then left flexion, then walk on. Good. This next letter, halt, rain back three, walk on. Yeah, d don't don't kick him in the rain back. Just close the leg and ride him up to the bridle, and let him stay up to the bridle in the rain back when you do it again. <laughs> That's okay. Good. Now don't don't kick him. Just close the leg. Let him walk. There you go. Super and out forward. So now, excellent. Very good with that one. Like that. Okay. Go ahead and change the rain through center line. All right. You're still going to stop parallel to the letter. So here at G, G, you're going to be right between <coughs> H. Yes. And then halt, that's G when you're parallel to H. Yeah. Yep. That's all right, walk forward. That's all right, that's not a crime. That's a little bit of an engaging exercise for him. Okay. It doesn't have to be, you can put those in in a soft way like this. Okay. All right. Just so you can do five, six, ten, twelve of those if she does them like this. So here when you flex, you can see how he, he does want to take his neck and go a little <coughs> too deep. See if he can't flex with his pole right there. All right. The other thing is when you halt, Try to halt straight, and then <clears throat> that he's just straight in the rain back as well. Then he'll move more diagonal, and that's good. Now, now you keep your elbows down, and let him flex with his pole just a touch more up, just a little bit more up, so he doesn't just roll over because he wants to. Uh, yep, right there, that that level with his pole. 
And for him, that would be a pretty good working outline right there. Okay. So all I'm trying to do is get a feel of where he can come through and what's appropriate for pole neck position. Okay. So, he, again, you know, he's not up and brace. Yes. And then, <clears throat> good. Now keep him that straight. Yes, and walk out of it. That was all right. You're going to track right. So his pole height out of his neck can be right here. Now go to a long ring. Let him have his neck and head. So you can see where he naturally, and keep your elbows down, Karen. Elbows, hands down on a long ring. You see where he wants to stretch and reach, right? Yeah. And where we just had him would be his working okay. outline, <clears throat> but he can still do it. So now softly just start to pick up your rein contact that passive feel and just feel them like you were before. Yep. Now start to add a little bit of right flexion and make a large circle here with a little right flexion without over bending right now. Good. A little right flexion. Yep. Good. Maintain right flexion. Hold. Yeah, that was good. Now, okay, you see that? Yeah. Okay, he stepped into it. Yeah. And now, now he went a little deeper, but he stepped into the hole quite nicely. Don't, I don't care that he's a little bit out behind with the right hand. Yeah. He stepped into the rain nice, and he didn't like try to root or just fall down, walk off. So uh, that again, I'm using that as a gauge for his his working balance or outline. Looks that was super. Okay, so for him, when he has to work here in this outline, that's. Probably the parameter, I wouldn't try to take him up anymore. You're going to use the transitions to gymnastize the hind leg. The more he's got to either go forward, come back, walk halts, right trot walks, canter trots, the more he can start to carry, even if we're not focused on the straightness per se, on the hind leg will start to get a gymnastic effect and still allow the horse to work through his back up to the bridle. Looks good, a little right flexion. Yep, good. Let's halt one more time with that. Very good. And see, he's not trying to like, so that's the limit. He doesn't get to go any deeper. Keep your elbows down, exactly, right there. We don't get him to not roll into himself. So what you just did, think of it, that's actually, you're on the base of making the correct or the what I would call a correction when he starts to do that think of it this way think like your hands even though they're on the reins are on bar a little pole vertical right. poles okay. just go up like that okay. correct him but immediately go back down with the hands and be there with a leg that sends him forward so you go don't roll over stay up Come right back down with the hands, and then just enough leg to keep him to the bridle with this okay. kind of feel right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Walk on. And it's the same thing riding, right? When we go into, like, and let's do it. But go ahead and go to the trot. And large circle down here is fine. Post and diagonal, Karen. So there, make that little correction and soften and just be there with it. Yeah, so you don't hold him there. You make the correction, you soften and you push him forward like that. Good girl. Shorten your reins, but keep them that soft, okay? The way you, the feel to your reins looks good, okay? My right leg. Think about your lower leg, <coughs> i.e. your calf heel being the lowest point into your iron scale. Okay. You don't want to, yep, you make the correction, you soften, and the 
the conceptual idea as well as uh, factual is you start to work on self-carry. You want the horse to go to the bridle, you just don't want to carry him there. I.e., the old saying that the rain becomes the fifth leg, right? You want to find the correct balance point in a soft way like that. I like that. I can tell that's soft. Yes? No? How does yeah. it feel to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying, pal, you get to work here in this outline, but I'm not going to hold you there. I'm just balancing you between my age longitudinal. They'll, she's doing a good job. She does that. a good she's job. Got, she's yeah. got a good feel. With she that. does. Okay. Super. Okay. So he is, he can be <clears throat> more active, right? So he doesn't, so that balance and that feel, let your lower legs send him more forward, Karen. Because he is, he dogs exactly. it with you, and there is more in there. Believe me, it's one of those things. This guy can move better than that. He's been like, so he, so <laughs> send him forward. And it may feel a little wild, and he may get a little, like, zingy with it. So, yep, ride that nice balance, like, there you go, that's better. We'll take the, now, that tempo just to start with. So when he backs <coughs> off the tempo, remember, tempo is speed. You, you're going to stay soft, quiet, until you feel the tempo back off, and then send him forward and be soft, quiet. All right? So a little pole flexion and that nice, soft balance. Yep, good. And then you're soft, quiet like this. And if you, yes, now send him a little forward. Go down the long side. <clears throat> now send him a little bit more forward in that soft balance like that. And now we're gonna keep sending him forward till he breaks to the canter, but we'll do it gradually, Ken, okay? I want you on the, uh, uh, between K and V, after you come out of the corner, send him a little bit more, a little bit more. Good. Now a little bit more. Keep that nice softness. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a marked improvement for right now. Change rain on the diagonal. Let's just play with this tempo for right now. You almost have him tracking up. So. What's considered for most horses adequate as far as forwardness is tracking up, hind legs to front legs, right? So keep riding that nice balance like you're doing with his pole neck and that activity. He's not quite tracking up, but that's, that's better. Let's give him a little time in that. So in his body, he's got a chance to go, ah, oh, okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah. How does he feel in the hand? Still that nice softness? Yeah, yeah. Good. That's super then. Add a little bit more now. Come. Yep. It may get a little quick and he's, he'll break to the canter at, at his point where he really can't carry with, that, with any more activity. He'll go, I got a canter to keep my balance. But a little bit more active. There, that trot, super. Feel that? Okay, this tempo, let's see where he's at tracking up like. Almost, a little bit more full. <coughs> let's see if we can't get him tracking up and not break. And keep that nice soft. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And for him, that's, that's all right. I wouldn't do any more than that. Let's let him work right there. Uh, a little bit more. Right there. Good. So he's moving forward. Now a large circle. And on, as you cross center line, send him a little bit more forward and go to the canter. Yep. Send him forward. At a girl. Now do the same thing in the canter. We don't want him to just lope along like a Western Pleasure. I want you to, uh, do you know how to go to a little forward seat? She's an inventor. Okay, the <laughs> go a little forward seat and send him down the long side with a little bit more energy. Yep. Good. A little bit more. I was like, that's okay. not cross country, Karen. Come okay. on. <laughs> now, let's go. Come on. Move it out. You got to, there you go. Good. The short side, you get to go back to your normal, Karen. 
Yeah. The long side, we got to get somewhere. And go. So it's a little forward seat and go. Yeah. <laughs> Next long side. <laughs>